today we're going to be installing VLUX skylights over our kitchen area. Not only do we want to create that wow factor, but we want to add space and light. One skylight's great, but today we're using multiple skylights to really transform the space. The addition of the light well adds volume and height and creates an architectural statement in a space that would otherwise be standard. I'll leave you to it. I'm here with Bodie from Natural Lighting Central Coast and he's going to help assist me today installing the VLUX skylights. First things first, Kyle's already framed up our void. So we've just got to put a couple of screws from the inside to the outside of the roof so we can get our custom flashing on the roof position so we can mark out and start the cut out of the skylight. So Bodie, what are we up to here, mate? As you can see, the screws that came through the inside out showed us where our skylight tray's got to go. So we plop that straight down so it's in position, we can mark it down so the skylight fits perfectly over the corrugations. I love the fact that the boys have had the custom flashing made up and it makes their job so much easier on the roof. And now that they've marked it out, they're almost finished cutting out the roof sheets. Before we install the VLUX skylight to the roof, we pre-fitted the blind and programmed the remote. It's great to see our VLUX skylights getting dropped into our custom flashing. Now it means that we can move our way on the inside of the room and make sure everything is square. You might want someone in the room to judge it while someone on the roof makes necessary adjustments. Before the VLUX capping is installed, place a rubber gasket over the flashing to ensure proper waterproofing. Now that the custom flashing has been installed, it's time to reattach the VLUX capping. With multiple skylights that are banked together, it's best to leave a 100mm gap between each skylight to allow for water runoff. 